Hi everyone, welcome to another video. This one is a little bit different to what I usually do, more focused on templates and accessories for the Remarkable. This time I'm going to be going over a, a bit of a feature that you can add to your Remarkable, um, often known as the sleep screen. So many of us have phones and tablets where you can customise what your home screen or your sleep screen looks like. On the Remarkable, you can't do that right out of the box, so it's not within the software to automatically be able to do that. I have reached out to the Remarkable team and they do sort of say that it's something they're looking to do in future, but right now you can't do it, but there is quite an easy way to do it should you want. So as of an overview of the video, I'm going to be going over how you do that, um, what tools you need to be able to do that, and any important bits of information uh, you need to be aware of when doing this. So let's open up my cover. Now it might look a bit deceiving there as if I've already unlocked my Remarkable, however I haven't. This is a sleep screen, as you can see here. This is one I've designed myself. I have designed a series of these which are available in the link below if you want to take a look. Um, I've just produced a series of high quality images um, tailored specifically to the screen of Remarkable. However, you can create these yourself um, should you want to invest the time to do so. But if you want to have a look at my selection, you can do. So I'll just prove it that this is not a PDF or anything like that. This is my lock screen. So I press the on button. Um, there you go. It's asking me to enter my passcode, which I'll just do that now. So in terms of how to do this, it is actually really straightforward. But as I mentioned, it can't just be done on the Remarkable itself by um, just fiddling with the settings. What you need to do is download a third party app and there are numerous out there. However, I will show one that I use and which I feel most confident using because it's very easy to use. As I'm using my phone to film this, I have downloaded um, images in order to walk through this with you all. So this app is called Notable Utility. I'll add the name of it in the description and I'll see if I can add a link in there as well. I am not the developer. I do not know the developer who is this individual, um, but it's one that I've used and I trust and a lot of other people I've spoke to have used this. Again, with any third party app, I'd encourage you to just read through the details um, of it just before going ahead and downloading that. It's available on iOS and Android and it's absolutely free. So you can just go ahead, download it onto your phone, which I did. Then once it's on your phone, I don't believe you even have to create an account or log in or anything like that. I don't recall having to do that. And this is what screen you are welcomed with. So there's a couple of main aspects you need to be aware of. Um, it is setting up the connection to your Remarkable, number one. And number two is then selecting your sleep screen. So what you first want to do is click on connect. And once you click on connect, see if I've got a screenshot of this bit here, it's going to ask you for some details. And I've just blanked a couple of mine out, but all you need is your IP address, the username, which is provided, and the password, which is provided. And actually, to be honest, the, the IP address is provided. You can find all these on your Remarkable. This is not something you have to uh, be technically savvy to do. You just need to know where to find it. And I'm going to show you that right now, step by step. So you go on to menu, you go into settings, you go into help, and then about. And when I click on copyright and licenses, it's going to show me all those details. Because some of them are potentially a little bit sensitive, I'm just going to cover up that portion of my screen as I click that now. So they will appear in this bottom corner of the screen. So you'll be able to see yours there, your IP address, your username and your password. And all you need to do is plug those details into your into the app and that helps it find your remarkable device. And once you've done that, um, I never actually went into this section, by the way, until I was doing this. But if you want to, you can read all the copyright notices and software licenses if you're really into the, the technical side of things, which most people don't really care about. Um, so once we're in there, we can go back into my screenshots here to show you. 
Once you've inputted those three details, just a quick note from my experience, when I pressed test connection, it didn't work at first. And so I thought it wasn't gonna work for me, but I went ahead and went straight to the section which says screens and tried to upload and it worked. So if you press test connection and it, you get an error message, then I'd just give it a try anyway. That was just my experience. But once you are successfully connected, all you need to do is make sure your Remarkable is unlocked. You click on choose image from your phone and you can select any image from your phone. To be honest, you, you might not need a, a fancy sleep screen. It might just be a picture of your family or your pet dog or something like that. You can go ahead, uh, choose the image and it'll take you to a screen where you can pick your image and it'll give you a sample here. So this is another one of my sleep screens which I've created. And then once you see the preview, you just click save to device. And at that point you are done. All you need to do, you don't even need to do anything else on the app. You can close the app at this point and then you just lock your Remarkable and you will see your new sleep screen. So um, it's as easy as that. It's probably about four or five steps. Once you've got the details, you can obviously save those down and the app remembers it. So you don't have to keep putting your IP address in. Um, here's just a couple of examples of the sorts of sleep screens you can use. Again, you can use mine or you can just create your own. Um, I've created some helpful ones. This is a series of all the remarkable tips and gestures, which I think is really handy to just <laughs> have because there are so many that you can learn to make the remarkable experience a bit easier and quicker. You can go down the route of having uh, quite aesthetic visual images or... As you can see here, you can even, I've got ones that are a bit more humorous and on, on the funny side. So there's a lot of different options you can have here. Um, and then just choose what you'd like and upload it to your Remarkable. And once you lock it, it is there on the lock screen. Now, the last thing I want to mention is an important note that I have um, reached out to Remarkable, as I say, and they did confirm that doing this, um, may affect your warranty. Now you might think, why would it affect your warranty? I'm literally just adding a, a sleep screen. Uh, it's just the aspect of you using a third party app to upload an image onto your Remarkable. Any developer of a product would not advocate that you use something external to what they provide. So it does make sense. Other companies would say that as well. So another example is, I don't know if some of you have heard of other pens. So this is the Samsung and it has a button on it. You can get the Lamy pen as well. And you can do a specific technical adjustment to the Remarkable where you can make it so this button actually functions with the device. And equally, that is an adjustment to the code. And so they would say that probably affects your warranty as well. So it is something to be aware of, um, even though it's a tiny tweak. And on the app, you can actually click a button which says put it back to normal. So it takes it back to the standard Remarkable sleep screen. Um, so you can erase any any trace of that there. Um, but just something to know if you are wanting to do that. I've gone ahead and do it and done it and, and a lot of other people have because, you know what, it's, it's a feature that probably should be on the device anyway. And it shouldn't have to be something which we uh, have to figure out how to do through a third party app. But I really like being able to lock it and have the sleep screen there. Um, and I have also noticed as well that I thought, oh, maybe with this on the screen the whole time, will it affect the battery? For me, it hasn't at all, um, the fact that that is there constantly. Um, so another quick note for you there. But I think I've covered everything there. If you do have any questions, let me know. I'll include some more instructions below, um, and I'll include a link to my Facebook group where I regularly um, answer questions or queries more on the more technical side of things that people might have about this. And of course, a link to my uh, sleep screen templates if you're interested. I hope you found that useful. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching.